no trunk tour since I was a uh, junior, senior in college, and uh, you know, it's helped me, you know, whether I was an inexperienced young athlete, an experienced young coach, and an uh, inexperienced uh, young man, and all the, uh, you know, all the wisdom that, that he uh, is uh, important and part of me, you know, will live with me for, forever. And, uh, you know, through him, through me, you know, some of the things that I've learned through him are the things that I teach my athletes and I teach uh, my children. Uh, and, you know, he, he just was a great man. And, you know, his, his memory will, will, will be with me forever. Whether he was yelling at me when I was an assistant coach, athlete, or telling me to calm down when I became my first uh, opportunity to become a head coach. You know, everything that I, that I owe in, in coaching, that I owe to, uh, to tour. And, you know, if you've ever met him, everything, every day, whether it was a brief moment or a long moment, it, it stayed with you forever. And, uh, you know, you, we just, I just feel honored and blessed to have tour have been a major, major part of my life, my development, uh, not only as a coach, but as a man. Yeah, I just, just want to kind of echo a lot of the things that Eric had to say. Uh, first and foremost, to thank John Copeland and Melnix and the rest of the staff here at URI and the administration for putting together such a, such a great day for, uh, for a great man. It really is a nice way to be able to say, you know, thank you on behalf of all of us at Torp. Um, you know, I think I speak for all the different coaches in this, in this room and a lot of different athletes, whether it be directly or indirectly. Torp did, did in fact touch a lot of lives. I know he, he was a huge impact on my life and he's, he's a major reason as to why uh, I'm coaching today. I can, I can say the same thing, you know, on behalf of about 40 or 50 other coaches, whether it be at the, the high school level, the collegiate level, uh, or even beyond. Torp really did just have a, a real strong impact on a lot of different lives. Um, I want to kind of also just publicly congratulate uh, the Sally University. Uh, they had a great accomplishment this past fall with both the uh, men and women's cross country titles. Um, that's something you guys should be really proud of. You had a very difficult summer and you accomplished something really special during a very, very difficult time. Um, a special thanks goes out to, to Dan Ireland and his staff as well for their, their terrific work, their great leadership. You know, none of that stuff this fall happens without the great job that you guys did. Um, you know, if I had to put it into words, I guess the one thing I'd say about Torf is just a lot of, similar to what Eric said, just, just a, a tireless dedication to his athletes. Not just his athletes, but his people. Um, Torp spent the same amount of time with the kids trying to break 4.30 as he did with the kid that was trying to break 4 minutes. So, uh, as a coach today, it's something I try and replicate. I think a lot of us try and replicate it. We owe a big thanks to Torp because of it. So, thank you very much. I'd now like to dedicate a moment of silence in memory of Charles Torp. One thing uh, Torby always had was a fire in his belly. If the athletes that are here today can get any part of the fire that Charles had in his belly, you're going to be great. So let's see what you can do today. Thank you very much.